It's an honor to be with you tonight to celebrate GBA's tribute to Jack Mascaro. My first interaction with Jack was in 1997 when we came together to create the first Green Construction Symposium. University of Pitt School of Engineering, Jack and Hines were already cooking up the idea when I first came on as GBA's executive director. It was really the first of its kind in the country and um, we really have Jack to thank for, for pushing that along. Jack went on to advocate from his leadership position within the Master Builders Association. In fact, he was known to once set me up as the speaker between a room full of a lot of male contractors and drinks. Not an ideal position to be in, but we survived and went on to have a great time together. But that really taught me how Jack was willing to educate his competitors all for the greater good. And he embraced that idea. So thank you, Jack, for all you've done to really inspire us and to be a great leader advancing green building. Thank you. The success of sustainability in our region depends on leadership in all sectors. And this leadership is especially critical in the construction industry. I appreciate Jack Mascaro's early adoption of green building strategies and in a way his participation in those early critical green building projects were a signal to others that healthy and high performance buildings were important to our region. He inspired and challenged his counterparts and worked alongside Western Pennsylvania's legacy green building projects. We are grateful to Jack for his dedication to creating sustainable places where everyone can thrive. Hi, I'm Aurora Sherrard, Director of Sustainability at the University of Pittsburgh and former Executive Director of Green Building Alliance. I'm grateful to help honor Jack Mascaro, a man best known for constructing buildings, but who really built up people. An avid learner, Jack was always focused on cutting edge approaches and innovative technologies. This quest for knowledge brought Jack to many GBA education events and drove his longtime support of the University of Pittsburgh in sustainability, athletics, and cancer research. With Pitt's Mascaro Center for Sustainable Innovation, Jack ensured generations of Pitt students and faculty would have the resources and places they needed to solve real-world challenges in an ethical, balanced manner. This conviction built confidence in green construction, high-performance buildings, and sustainable approaches at Pitt, in Pittsburgh, and around the region. Jack built up people by mentoring students on difficult business decisions, asking spot-on questions in lectures, and just checking in on what was new and next but always with a smile, a laugh, and a focus on doing what was right in a manner that built community. Adio, Jack. Your legacy lives on in us. Good evening. My name is Cliff Rao, Executive Chair of P.J. Dick, Trumbull Corporation, and Lindy Paving. First, I want to congratulate the Green Building Alliance for having a successful virtual Emerald Gala, and I want to thank their staff for all the services they provide on behalf of our industry. Second, I was asked to salute my friend Jack Mascaro. I knew Jack a long time. We raised our families in Upper St. Clair. Our kids went to school and played sports together. And now our grandchildren know each other. I always had a great deal of respect for Jack and admired that he started his company in his home with virtually nothing after a successful career at Mellon Stewart. Jack was as dedicated as anyone I know to the construction industry, and he was a true champion of union construction. We worked together as partners, served on the MBA board, were fierce competitors, and we were friends. Jack had great integrity, he was fair, would do the right thing, and you always knew where you stood with Jack Mascaro. He will be missed, may he rest in peace.